pressure dreadlock extensions can be used to permanently lengthen existing dreads. However, this video demonstrates how they can be braided into undreaded hair. Single ended dreadlock extensions are installed by pushing a section of your own hair through the loop at the top of the extension. In this case, we've just used a latch hook, which is available at dreadlocks.com.au, but alternatively, you could also use a pointy end of a splicer comb. Move the extension to the scalp, then split the section of your own hair in two, and this will give you three pieces, which we'll now braid together. This is a simple braid or plait down the length of the extension. We're working it to the right of the extension, so rather than moving the extension into the middle, we're wrapping the hair around it. It looks kind of complicated, but it really is just a basic braid with the focus on the hair. When it's the extension's turn to be weaved into the middle, we're not moving it, but we're wrapping the hair around it instead. In this case, we're using sections which are about two to three centimeters squared or one inch squared at the scalp. You can make these bigger or smaller depending on how many dreads or therefore volume you want to end up with. On average, most people end up with about 50 dreads for a full head install or 30 dreads for a half head. Braid down as far as you can go and then secure the, the braid with either a thread or a heavy duty pro elastic. For more information on our extensions and our installation tools, including the latch hook and the heavy duty pro elastic, go to www.dreadlocks.com.au.